parks, schools, restaurants, and more, Assembly Row gets high scores. We're at Thriving City with so much to do on Boston Harbor in our view. Politics, cannabis, controversial stories, heroes, villains, who gets the glory? 50 plus languages in Somerville is spoken. Sanctuary City, there are no free tokens. The history in Somerville stays alive. In all American city, we won three times. Somerville connects. Somerville connects. Welcome to another edition of Somerville Connects. We have the lovely <laughs> Katie Lowe from Club Pilates. That's correct. At Assembly Row mm -hmm. in Somerville, Massachusetts. Welcome. You got it. Katie. Did I do that right? You did it right. Thank you so oh, much for goodness. the warm welcome. <laughs> yeah. What a great name. Katie Lowe as an L O W E. That's correct. <laughs> so Katie, we don't know anything about you, but we want to find out everything that we can in these next 15 minutes. That's a lot to cover. There is a lot yeah. to cover. <laughs> so where are you from and how did you come from where you came from to here in Somerville at Club Pilates? Sure. Um, so I was originally born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm a, mm -hmm. I'm a Southern girl, even though you may not be able to hear it in my accent. I hear it a little. <laughs> you You're do. a Southern peach. <laughs> Yes, I am. I'm a Georgia peach. Um, but I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, that was fantastic. And I grew up being a ballet dancer and being around musicians and things like that. Um, and then college kind of took me elsewhere. I ended up going to Purdue University, which is in uh, West Lafayette, Indiana. I fondly refer to it as the cornfield. Um, <laughs> that's a little sarcastic, though. But um, Yes, yeah, so I went to graduate school at Purdue University and I studied human development and family studies. Um, but uh, during that time, I was involved in fitness and I, you know, taught cycling classes, I taught Pilates classes, those kinds of things. Um, <clears throat> and then after graduate school, you know, I, I met my husband during that time and we're both in the academic realm a little bit. And there was an opportunity that happened at Harvard for him. And, you know, we're like, let's go, you know. So we found our way here. We journeyed here from Indiana to Massachusetts. And ever since then, I've been in the academic world, but I've also been in the fitness industry um, since we've lived here. So that's basically kind of how, where I'm from, how I got from Florida to, in Atlanta, Georgia to Indiana and all the way over to Massachusetts. So Beautiful. I've been, been all over. You but. connected the dots beautifully. <laughs> yeah, but as a ballet, being in ballet, that was kind of where I started to learn about Pilates because um, the guy who created Pilates, and yes, you heard that correctly, a man created Pilates. A lot of times uh, people think that Pilates is only for women, um, but a man created Pilates. Um, so that was where I was first sort of introduced to it because Joseph Pilates worked with a lot of ballet dancers because he had a studio in New York City right above the New York City Ballet. So because he worked with a lot of ballet instructors, his discipline of exercise kind of got passed down to some ballet instructors and the, the tradition of ballet as well. So I was doing Pilates a little bit as a ballet, as a student of ballet, and then as I got into the fitness industry, I realized, wow, this is an amazing practice and I'd like to learn more about it. So I pursued more education with Pilates and pursued my certification with Pilates. So that was basically how I learned about Pilates and how I kind of got into it. Tell us what is Pilates because- Great question. <laughs> because I really, you know, you hear that there's bar, there's orange theory, there's people that do weight training, there's mm -hmm. people that do cardio. What is the difference that's a, and why Pilates? That's a great question. Both, both are great questions. So Pilates um, is a total body system of exercise. And we use not only mat exercises, but also equipment that is spring loaded to give you that total body exercise. And when I say total body, I really mean it. We work from your toes 
all the way to the top of your head, front and back. But the unique thing about Pilates, aside from having this equipment that sometimes looks like a torture device because it's spring-loaded and we have pulleys and it can look quite intimidating. Spring-loaded, what yeah. does that mean? You, you get <laughs> catapulted from one end of the room to the other? Potentially, if you're not careful. Oh, okay. <laughs> and if you're not being supervised by someone like myself, someone who's certified. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so springs are our form of resistance. So instead of a 10-pound dumbbell, for instance, which is like the traditional format of weight training, you know, we have a spring. So as you pull the spring, for instance, to do a bicep curl, that resistance changes as the string stretches and as the string the spring comes back to its original position. So that is a very dynamic form of resistance. And so Pilates really helps you learn how to control your body through those different types of resistances and through the different exercises. Um, and so in general, Pilates really focuses on developing core strength. And core strength is, involves all the muscles that attach to your pelvis, basically. So that would be your glutes, that would be your definitely your abdominal muscles, all the muscles that run along your spine. So the idea is that if you can develop a strong center, a strong core, a strong powerhouse, as you often hear it referred to, then everything else that you do is going to be even stronger. So developing a strong core, originating all of the exercises from the core and having a strong core means that you know, your posture is going to improve. Your range of motion through all of your joints is going to improve. Your mind-body connection and how you're moving throughout your daily life is going to improve. Because Joseph Pilates, even in 1945, when he published his famous book, Return to Life Through Contrology, he called Pilates Contrology originally because it takes a lot of control. Oh, yes. wow. So he okay. used to call it Contrology. But he even in 1945, he recognized our modern environment is making us slump. Our modern right. environment, yeah, is really leading to a lot of bad posture. Oh, what would he say now with oh all my the gosh. cell phones? He'd he would be say, going crazy. He'd be going crazy. I call it text neck. You know, where you text have neck. text neck, yes. Oh my God. Is, is this your own, your <laughs> so, own I'm phrase? sure a lot of other people have text said neck. that as well. But yeah, so you know, he really was ahead of his time as far as how contrology, how Pilates and developing a strong core can really help alleviate some of those postural problems. Sure. So it's not only how you're moving in the studio, but you learn how to move intelligently in the studio so that in the Pilates studio, so that when you go about your activities of daily life, you're moving intelligently throughout your activities of daily life and you have less pain and you have more, you know, confidence and you have a better mind-body connection. So it's just, a, it's an amazing system of exercise. Um, I'll do it to the day I die, hands down. Wow. Yeah, because it's not jarring on your joints. And um, if anything, it helps protect your joints because it develops a lot of strength with the muscles around the joints. So it's a very, um, anybody can do Pilates. You know, you don't, there's no age to Pilates. There's yeah, I was no gonna ask you that. No. Are, there, are there certain limits if someone can do it, how old they I are? I have worked with someone that has a rod implanted in their spine. I have seen people that don't have legs do Pilates. I, and then I've worked with elite athletes at the same time. Literally, Pilates is for everybody. That's how Joseph Pilates designed it. That's what, that's what he wants. He wants people to get stronger and smarter at the same time. Um, and I really hope, and I know that his discipline of exercise is gonna continue into the future. It's an, a really an amazing practice. Can people injure themselves with Pilates? No. Oh, wow. I, okay. I, would, I would argue, okay. With anything, you can walk down the street and injure yourself. Sure, <laughs> Especially sure. if you're texting and walking at the same time because you might trip and fall. Oh, well, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but um, as long as you're being supervised by someone like myself who has significant training, I've had over 600 hours of training, and I had to document that even before I sat down for my certification exam. So I've had significant training um, to be able to do what I do. I'm educated on how to work with special populations. That includes people that have hip replacements sure. and sciatica pain and knee replacements and you know women post-pregnancy pre and postnatal all those kinds of things so I've had a lot of training to be able to handle special populations um, and adapt to Pilates for those special populations so, so it sounds like you do a little bit of physical therapy where physical therapists are taught you are able to adapt absolutely definitely um, I would definitely they're the experts for sure you know but um, we look at the body as a whole unit how is it working together or it, 
is it working together or isn't it working together and how can we improve that? So we definitely get a lot of people who come out of physical therapy into the Pilates studio to work on the, to the total body system. So would you recommend to someone that they do Pilates over let's say yoga or bar right. or orange mm -hmm. theory or exercising just at a regular gym. Right, I think Pilates um, complements all other disciplines of exercise. It's an excellent um, method that can be used to complement, you know, you, if you're a runner or if you're working out at Orange Theory or if you're doing yoga, it definitely complements and can enhance every other type of exercise that you are involved in. Because once again, if you have a strong awareness of your core and ability to utilize your core, everything else that you do is just gonna be that much more awesome. Beautiful, okay, so tell me, how is Club Pilates doing here in Somerville? Oh, we're doing great. Um, I love being part of Fit Row. It's a really fun community. I mean, arguably the Boston, Cambridge, Somerville area is like at the epicenter of academic and yes. technological and yes. um, the realms. And so because we are such an amazing forward thinking community, we get those members, you know, at Club Pilates and also all along Fit Row, you know, and Fit Row has a wonderful mission and it's just to really help people of this community continue to live healthy lifestyle. And I really love being a part of that. And, and I love our members, like I said, because we have such a diverse and welcoming group of members and, and, and our instructors are that way too. And our staff is that way too. And it's just, it's a really positive and encouraging environment. So Katie, you are you in charge of the whole Pilates, Club Pilates? I am definitely not. I'm just um, an instructor there. Well, I'm a lead instructor and a lead instructor means that um, I have a responsibility to help kind of, you know, build up some of the junior instructors and give them some um, feedback on their classes and just help mentor them mm. um, and, and gain a little bit more confidence and gain a little bit more repertoire um, with their teaching. So I, I am a lead instructor, but I don't, I'm definitely not in charge of Club Pilates. And how many instructors are there at Club Pilates? Sure, that varies from studio to studio, but I think we have around eight just dynamic instructors. We're we're amazing team. Beautiful. We, um, uh, you know, Club Pilates, um, their mission, is, and I really am passionate about their mission, their mission is to make Pilates high quality Pilates. That means high quality equipment, high quality instruction, affordable and accessible. Because Pilates sometimes is known as maybe a pinky out, only the rich and famous can afford it type of exercise. You is hear, it expensive? It can be expensive. You sure. hear, you know, um, about elite athletes doing Pilates and celebrities doing Pilates. That, that implies that it is expensive. Um, but Club Pilates is trying to carry out the, you know, Joseph Pilates' vision, which is everybody should be doing Pilates. You know, so if we can make it more affordable for everyone, then, then everyone will benefit from Pilates. And so I love that. And how we do that is we have group classes, right? But we don't have group classes with 50 people. We have group Harmony. classes with up to 12 people maximum. You know, is, are, the, are they filled? Are the 12 spots filled all the time? Not necessarily. Is there an opportunity for you to get one-on-one -on -one instruction? Absolutely, if that's something that you want to do. Um, but I absolutely love their mission and I think it's it's uh, it's incredible mission. And as a testament to that, uh, Club Pilates started in 2007 in San Diego, California. And since then, um, what, 12 years later, uh, there's over 500 studios across the United States and into Canada. And I think by 2020, there's going to be 650. So, and I hear, I hear a little bird saying that there's, you know, even more international expansion is going to occur. This is so. exciting. So what would you tell folks mm -hmm. to come and join Club Pilates? What would you tell them to invite them to come to Somerville? <laughs> Absolutely. I would, I would say, why not? Why not give it a try? If you've never tried it before, give it a try. You know, I mean, as you look back on your life, the things that you're going to think about are the things that you regret not doing, right? So I love why that. not start right. today? Why not give it a try? We offer free introductory classes throughout the week. Free introductory free. classes? That's absolutely right. Did so, you hear that, folks? Free. <laughs> and when are these free introductory we classes? We have them sprinkled throughout the week. I think we have one on Tuesday, one on Friday, and on the weekends as well. So we are open seven days a week from sun up till sundown. We offer classes all day long and six different types of classes as well. So there's there's more than just Pilates. You know, we also have a little bit of bar at our studio as well. We also have a little bit of TRX in our studio as well. But everything is on TR the... TR... 
it's a suspension training. So okay, okay. Yeah, suspension training type of exercise. Beautiful. So it's really it's a really cool atmosphere. So you can learn about Pilates. Um, you can learn about bar. You can learn about your own body. And I like I always say, you got to practice it consistently, which is what Joseph Pilates said, um, so that you can get stronger and smarter. Um, and yeah, so why not come out and give it a try? Um, you know, you, I, I bet you you'll feel better even after your first free session. I'm looking forward to, <laughs> to uh, joining Club Pilates. Yes, it absolutely. Exciting. It's really it's an amazing system of exercise. Like I said, Pilates doesn't know an age. One of my strongest clients is over 70 years old. Beautiful. Well, then I'm all I'm set. Absolutely. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Thank you so much, You're Katie so Lowe welcome. from Club Pilates Thank for you, joining Jojo. Somerville Connects. And join us again for the next uh, episode. Yes. Thank you. Come see us at Club Pilates. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Somerville connects. Somerville connects.